Sandra's here with Dojo Live at High Tech 2024 in Charlotte. Here with me is Shane O'Flaherty. Did I say that right? You did. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> the global director of all things travel, transportation, and hospitality uh, at at Microsoft. So Shane, thank you so much for joining thank me you. today. Thank you for having me. Especially because this has been a really busy week for Shane, I know. So we appreciate your time. Uh, Shane, your your experience in this industry spans twenty plus, plus. years. Yeah, <laughs> twenty Long plus time. years. Yeah. <laughs> Can you go over that just a little bit for us? Your experience, what that's looked like. Yeah, I mean, I, I started my career with United Airlines, kind of in a sales capacity, then moved into the hotel space. You know what I realized, Shane. Oh. Was Why don't we start get? So should we take it to the top? Yeah. I think it might have probably picked up your mic, but I forget to give that to you. <laughs> On your shirt, maybe you like that. That was, there was take outtake one. All right, we're in. We're in. <laughs> Got it. All right, we, we didn't get too far. All right, here we go. So, once again, Kim Lantis here with Dojo Live at High Tech 2024 in Charlotte. Joining me is Shane O'Flaherty. I did get it right. You did? Yes. yes. Thank you. The global director of all things travel, transportation, and hospitality with Microsoft. That's a mouthful. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a big company. <laughs> so thank you so much for your time today, Shane. I yeah. know you've been super busy at High Tech. This is thank High you. Tech number. Oh, for me, probably nine. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, I have yeah. to say, it's a little smaller than I expected. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've always been on the others. I've not been on the tech side I got until you, I joined got Microsoft. You. So before it was all different areas of the company. So talking about your 20 plus years of experience and the shift to the tech side, well, let's dive a little bit into who you are and what this has looked like in your life with travel hospitality tech. Yeah, I mean, I began my career in the airline space with United and then moved into kind of the hotel space uh, with preferred hotels for a number of years. And then uh, a company called Mobile Travel Guide. So we did the star rating system on hotels, restaurants, added spas, and then changed it into Forbes Travel Guide um, in 2005, 2006. So been in the space and then all around sales, marketing, customer experience, measurement, training. Uh, and then about nine years ago, uh, I had an old college friend who worked for Microsoft and they were building out an industry team for travel. So um, that's how I ended up at Microsoft. So I moved this, made the shift to more on the tech side as opposed to on the business side. I love it. So that lesson here is keep in touch with your college friends. Yeah. Network, okay. network, network. <laughs> Always very important. So after all this time in travel and hospitality, what is it that keeps you excited? Oh, it's such a fun industry. I mean, it's dynamic. It's always changing. It's always fun. There's always new places to go visit. The world's a very small place. Uh, and just always this idea of as you travel to dis different destinations, mm -hmm. experiencing that culture, and then how do you bring it back into your own life? and then your own community. Um, I think it's just a fascinating part of, it's the most exciting industry out there. I agree. Yeah. I, I love how small and big. And big at the same time, yeah. Everything can be, yeah. exactly. So you were talking about technology, we're talking about innovation, high tech number nine, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but here, when it comes to travel hospitality tech, high tech is known for the new, the exciting, the innovative. What's Microsoft showcasing here this week? Well, I think um, in the past kind of year and a half is generative AI. So the big push in the marketplace is how does generative AI impact the customer experience, the employee experience and operations, and then uh, working with all these uh, large scale enterprise hotels and then our partner ecosystem in bringing Gen AI to their platforms. How do we drive more efficiency kind of across the board? So that's kind of our message and our continued message mm -hmm. is embrace the technology, you know, we've made, uh, Microsoft's made big commitments and investments in the generative AI space for a number of years. And, uh, you know, but how does it fit into your specific business that provides value to you as an organization? I think that's a really good point. I've heard that a lot, right? You don't want to get on the bandwagon just for the bandwagon sake. Right, right. Things that make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. low-hanging fruit and then continue to build upon that. <laughs> You know, I was going to say what prompted that move in the industry with Gen AI, but you kind of already touched on that. But where do you see some of the really cool use cases with Gen AI in the industry? Well, I, I think um, we're starting to see a little bit more on the booking side um, yeah. around kind of search and inspiration, but then all the way through the booking channel and the funnel. So it's presenting me with a better offer that's more relevant to me in my journey. And it's, uh, you know, with Gen AI, it's more human-like behavior as opposed to the kind of a little bit more of the old school bots. So, Dropbox scroll. Yeah, like. all that. So, yeah, so it's 
that's kind of engaging with the consumer and then finding something that they really want. Mm -hmm. um, that's one area. Customer, employee sentiments, uh, that's another big area. And then kind of operations, you know, a lot of investment in next generation call centers. Oh, okay. And how do I drive more operational efficiency in the call center? How do I superpower my employees with information that gives them easy access to information? They can just ask for it and it pops up to on their screen. And then probably the other big area is around data. And if I'm a hotel general manager, I may not be as sophisticated as my CRO, my revenue person. Um, you know, how do I use natural language and ask you know the, a question uh, to the data and the data responds? So. How do you democratize data in a way that's useful, relevant, and get out to all the people that may need to know? And they can ask a question that they're thinking of, mm -hmm. and they don't really need to know um, a spe specific algorithm on how to ask it. I love that. I love that. You've mentioned the operation side, and one of the things that I've noticed in a lot of the conversations is that it's <clears throat> we're talking about the, the guest-facing experience, the customer experience. But in your tutorial yesterday, you were touching on also the employee yes. experience. Yes. And I, I'm curious as to, for me, that's really interesting. I mean, it's really interesting. And I'd like to know more on the innovation side of the employee experience, why that's important. And if you think hoteliers and others need to be paying attention to that as well. Is there an, unbal an imbalance here? Yeah. I mean, historically, and Microsoft did some research, our work trend index a couple of years ago around across all frontline workers. Uh, in all different sectors. And I think the research came back that employees felt that uh, their enterprises invested more in consumer-based technology and less in employee-based technology. So where can we find some equal ground? And they're using consumer applications, just texting, group chat, WeChat, um, you know, uh, WhatsApp to yep. communicate and collaborate, which works. Yep. Um, but at the same time, that's a data security privacy issue. Um, because the data is out there in the wild. So how do we build like an enterprise grade platform that protects your data, allows for communi communication collaboration on a modern platform? So when I walk into work as an employee, I get one pane of glass and all the things I need are integrated into this one pane of glass. I don't have to go to different applications. So it's all about driving operational efficiency. You know, we have a lot of challenges of labor in the industry as a whole, uh, down a couple hundred thousand people from pre-COVID. So how do I do more with less? Uh, and how do I automate the predictable? Um, and then, you know, and, and, and humanized exceptional, as we say, or a uh, gentleman named Matthew Upchurch said. Uh, but it's all about how do oh, I automate things. Oh, you can't take credit for that great line. Oh, no, I can't. I always give it to him. <laughs> He's wonderful. I love that because I was going to quote you. No, no, can't take that one. Yeah. So I, I, I think this, and, and it's challenging, of course, in the hotel space, just the dynamics of the franchisees, the owners, the brands. Um, so, you know, in the airline sector, we see significant growth in this area of retail. Um, and now I think it's starting to happen into the hospitality sector. And the more you empower your employees and give them information, mm -hmm. overall the better experience it is for the consumer. Right? Yeah. And they stick around also. And they stick around. The longevity of their experience, it's not a flash in the pan, it's actually a consistent experience. Which then continuously makes the guest experience better because... Correct. So yeah. training your employees, which was a big part of my uh, job previously to uh, Microsoft, it was all around our training business. Um, the investment hotels make in that area is, you know, should be more significant. And then the tech then that aligns with, um, you know, how you're training your employee. Do you, when you bring those two together, the magic happens. Very, very smart. So this week, as I already said, I think, you've been super, super busy. You were on a panel. You did your tutorial. You've been walking around, talking to a lot of people at High Tech 2024. Is yeah. there, what have you heard, seen that you really think everyone out there needs? No. Uh, probably the biggest question I get is, is this real? Like, is Gen <laughs> AI real? Is AI real? And uh, I think the message is, yes, it's real. It's here to stay. And it's not um, uh, it, 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 taking advantage of the technology as best as you can is, mm -hmm. is extremely important in the short term. And it's going to get uh, more powerful and more powerful in a very short period of time. So this idea of embrace technology, which as with high tech, everyone's embracing technology, um, but also how do you keep, um, you know, your eye on the future and how do you keep your eye kind of around the corner to see what's coming next and how it can impact your business uh, and drive more efficiency. I love that you said the word future because that's my final question. Oh. My final question is talking about the future of travel, hospitality tech, how would you sum that up? What do you think that looks like in one word? I'm optimistic. 
<laughs> yeah. As he says, as always, I'm optimistic. As always in the industry. <laughs> um, you know, I think uh, just the ability to embrace it, and we call it a growth mindset inside Microsoft, mm -hmm. but that ability to be a learn it all, continuing to learn more if you're on the business side or the IT side, continue to invest time in learning about technology and then how it can bring value to your business. Um, so maybe two words, growth mindset, which with optimism, uh, that's three words. Uh, I think that those are all very helpful, especially in the tech world because it's changing so rapidly. So it's a constant learning cycle as opposed to maybe other sides of your businesses. Um, you've been doing the same thing for many, many years and very successful. And how do you layer tech in to drive even more success across the board? Right. I awesome. like that. This optimism that there's going to be more and more embracing. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, awesome. thank you so much, Shane. It's been a pleasure meeting you. you today. It's been a pleasure speaking with you today here at High Tech 2024. Uh, wishing you nothing but success. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now.